Hi there, and welcome back to the Funtivity app. Let's review how to play escape rooms on Funtivity. To get started, I've just opened up a Zoom meeting. I'm going to open up the Funtivity app and select any escape room that I'm interested in. You can also enjoy escape rooms on our other platforms such as Microsoft Teams or our web portal. The only difference being that on Microsoft Teams, we currently don't have capability to create breakout rooms for different teams to compete in solving the escape rooms. Once in Funtivity, I'm going to navigate to the escape room section of the menu. Then choose any escape room that you're interested in. One of our most popular ones is the end of line escape room. So I'm just going to click there and hit start. By selecting to invite all participants to the app, this means that whether somebody joins the meeting on time or even 10 or 20 minutes late, they'll still receive the pop-up to join my Funtivity activity when they enter the meeting. Now let's select the content pack I'd like to do for our escape room. Our shorter packs will have less puzzles and the longer packs will have more puzzles and they will be harder. I'll preview the instructions to set the scene of what the escape room is about. Once again, because I am on Zoom, I'm going to click the Create Teams button. You can customize how many teams you'll have in your meeting based on how many people are in your meeting. So even if you have just two people, you can both play on the same team and solve it together, or you can compete against each other by initiating two separate breakout rooms. If you do need to add teams, you're going to start by clicking on this Add Team button, and you'll be able to do that when there are more people in your meeting. Once you've added as many teams as you'd like, up to eight teams, then you'll click on next to assign which users will play on which teams. We have the option of allowing you to click and assign a user to a certain team, or you can click on the auto assign, which will randomize which players get placed on which team. As the host, you can also exclude yourself or exclude anyone else from being auto assigned to a team. Just click on the exclude button the person that will be excluded from participating in the team assignments. Once you're all done assigning your teams, go ahead and click on launch breakout rooms. You'll notice that this will actually close out the session that you see on your computer. It will look like Zoom has closed or that the app is gone, but that's not the case. Once you arrive into your breakout room, you'll see a couple of pop-ups. First, you'll see a pop-up from Zoom just letting you know that host can see a couple of details on your participation in the breakout room, such as having your audio and video off, but they won't be able to see what you share on your screen and they're not listening on your conversation. Now, you may see, depending on your screen size, a pop-up telling you that you can resize your screen to better enjoy the activity. Remember, you can drag this here or you can also pop this window out into another window completely, which is great if you have another monitor or just would like to see the activity in a larger format. When the host of the activity clicks on Start Activity, this will start the activity for everyone across all breakout rooms. Before they click that, no one will be able to enter and the timer won't be running for the competition across teams. Once you enter your escape room, regardless of which Funtivity escape room you choose, the first thing you'll want to do is take a look at the environment, start to hover over different items in the room, and you'll start to see which ones may have clues or may be important for you to look at. You'll also notice there are hints provided to you down at the bottom. The yellow hints are free so you can get some free information or instruction on what you need to do. And if you see a black hint or a lock icon, that means it will cost you a couple of seconds on the timer if you view it. For this puzzle, for example, we have the instruction telling us we need to press four colored buttons in the correct order to unlock a diary. And once I unlock it, I'll see some information that will help me find the password to get to the next room. The goal for the escape room is to get through all of the different rooms, which you can see up here at the top, to view where you stand against all the other teams playing in your activity, just click on leaderboard. You can see what everyone has unlocked or not unlocked, and also some progress on what other teams have been doing. And this will help the host know who's progressing fastest or who may be stuck and need some extra assistance. 